genocide, ethnic cleansing, slaughter, call it a holocaust. It's horrific what is happening. Uh, the fact that over 30,000 people have been killed and so many of them women and children and innocent people, we can't be supporting uh, the government of Israel. And I'm Jewish, so I think I have a very legitimate voice in all of this, whereas we all do. But to say that this is not helping Jewish people, this is not helping Israel. And it's certainly not helping U.S. relations with the Muslim world or the world stability in general. Well, I would say to the Biden administration, shame on you for what you have done already. And I wear my hands like this every day because this is the blood of this administration and the members of Congress on their hands. And of course, we call for a ceasefire and no more money to Israel. But so much damage has already been done. And I don't think the world should forgive the United States for what it has been doing. And those American people who have their eyes open should not forgive the Biden administration for what it has done. This Congress, you know, does not want to support the people of Gaza. And they're allowing this starvation to happen. This administration says, oh, we care about the people. They say to Israel, please stop killing so many people. Don't starve people. But what they're doing is the exact opposite. Right now, they're trying to get another $14 billion to go to Israel for more bombs to kill more people.